All right, welcome back to Project Integra. Today, I am revealing my Ricardos that I got yesterday. Um, they're kind of dirty, but I kind of did that on purpose just so I can make a video for you guys. I know there's very few videos out there of like how to clean Ricardos. It's uh, like a diluted wool light, and we're just gonna go ahead and get these all wet and get them all clean so we can uh, put them in the car. But uh, first off, I guess we're just gonna vacuum them down, and then after that, we're gonna go buy some wool light. Now that I got everything all situated and ready to go, I'm just going to give you like a brief overview of what I have here right in front of me. So, first off, I have the diluted wool light. Um, what you want to do to make this stuff is you're going to need four cups of water and then just one two thirds cup of uh, wool light. Um, I don't have the wool light near me, but um, it's called wool light darks. That's the one I got, that's why it's blue. So. First, what I'm going to do is get this bucket and fill it up. Well, I'm just going to probably leave it just halfway because there's no point filling it up. But you should have two buckets, that way you can switch off. That way one stays clean, the other stays dirty. But um, I'm just going to stick with one for now and then just get another bucket later if I can find one. But we're also going to get this rag and then just wipe everything down. Just basically drench the seats, that way we can get as much dirt up as possible before we uh, start spraying everything down with wood light. So that's basically the main goal for now. Uh, I'm gonna start with the, uh, the passenger seat or the, the driver's seat actually, which is the, the beat up one. So I'm gonna start with this one first and then I'm gonna move on over to the passenger seat or driver's seat in the US. So that's the goal for now. And um, that's pretty much it. Here we go. Alright, so now that I just went with a rack on both seats, I'm going to go ahead and get my wool light like so and just spray on the uh, areas that I need to work with it and I'm supposed to use my hand apparently because it's gentle and uh, it won't like rub off the, uh, the material. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and then afterwards when we're done with this, I'm going to go ahead and get a dry towel and just wipe off all the excess stuff on the uh, on the seats and then hopefully we'll just wait a couple couple of hours or maybe a day or two and then should be ready to go.
after about 22 hours of drying, they're almost done. Uh, the top portions are uh, pretty much done, but the uh, bottom section still needs some work. Uh, the bottom bolsters for both seats are still a little damp, but that's no biggie. I still got a couple hours left before I'm going to put them in. Uh, the uh, vacuum cleaner right here I used to uh, take out most of the wool light out of the seats and uh, really shouldn't use that but I, I mean you might as well use like a wet dry vac or something. I'm going to go ahead and go to like um, some place and use one of the big, the big vacuums and just vacuum out whatever I can whatever's like left in the seat but um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, it took about 22 hours so far for this to even get close to drying so everybody's kind of like right it really does take about about a day for these things to dry and um, some of the sections still feel smooth I feel like I buffed them out a bit this section was a bit rough right here you can feel smooth but now it does so that's cool so I'm just gonna probably wait another couple hours and then we're gonna go ahead and throw them in all right the Recaras are now in and they're looking nice I'm gonna go ahead and show you the front see what they look like after they uh, were all cleaned Alright, so I purchased a uh, Honda Integra Type R uh, gauge cluster, and this is my my uh, the original one that I had, but I'm just showing it for like a demonstration of this video. I uh, read a thread online that really didn't make a lot of sense to me personally, so this is basically what I did in order to uh, swap over the gauge clusters so it'll work for your Integra. Uh, basically, all I did was, you know, there's screws back here. It's self-explanatory. I'm just showing for you, showing you so you know how to do it. Uh, you want to remove the screws uh, all back here. And then once you do that, if you get really close to it, you'll see uh, like little white prongs. I don't even know what to call them, really. Um, but they're like little white prongs that hold this green film on you're gonna take out all your bulbs right and then it, it'll just plop right off right so you just peel it right off and um, you're not gonna you're not gonna use the um, the Honda Integra one you're gonna want to use yours the one for your car and then uh, I basically just took this off and then of course you got to take out all the bulbs but um, you just basically swap over the uh, the uh, green film also there's a little clip right here and it says like Denso on it you want to put that back on there too and then uh, here's where your SRS light is uh, you it's a little yellow plug and you're gonna pull it out and you're gonna put it in the Honda Integra one and it'll give you an SRS light I think I don't even, I'm not even sure if there's an SRS light on the Honda Integra but this is where it would go so also these uh these little clips right here you want to put these back in place in all the slots and you're only going to use these two right here so I'm not sure what year I had I have a 97 but I'm not sure what year I got for the Honda Integra but this is this is basically all I did was remove the green film and then place it place mine on the Honda Integra gauge cluster and boom done it worked and the gas the uh, gas meter worked all right, here's the uh, Honda Integra gauge cluster. There's the Denso plug I was telling you about. You're gonna need that. And you're gonna make sure that everything's wired up correctly. There's the SRS light back there. And uh, this is the LS film. So make sure you use the LS film for the Honda Integra or else something might not work. Um, I'm not sure what will happen, but I didn't want to take any chances and I just want to do it to right the, right the first time, so. That's pretty much it to it. And you just slide it back in and boom, there you go. All right, 
I went ahead and replaced uh, the right tail gasket, tail light gasket. Um, this wire I had to like snip because there was no way of me disconnecting it because it's like whoever did this before uh, they had to cut a couple wires in order to do this. I don't know why it's like this, but I just cut it. I'm just gonna get some electric tape, just tape it back up. But um, it's really simple to uh, replace the taillight gaskets other than that. Um, I was reading online and nobody is even talking about this, so I don't know why I'm having to deal with it. Maybe it's because whoever did the taillight gaskets on this car particularly uh, before uh, screwed it up. So now I have to go behind them and basically just figure out another way to get around it. So you're gonna go ahead and remove all of these bolts or nuts or whatever you wanna call them with an eight millimeter. Uh, after that, you're gonna take out all of these connections and um, once you do that, it'll just come right out and then that's basically everything behind the tail light gasket. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started here. gasket is now on and I cleaned off the surface of the of where the tail light goes I'm gonna go ahead and slide this right back in it's nothing really much to it it's just the wiring sometimes might be jacked out if, if somebody like already did this previously and didn't do a good job you're gonna have to uh, tape up the wires again which is extremely annoying because sometimes there's not enough wire left and then it gets short but anyway I'm gonna put this in and um, that's pretty much it. I'll probably start cleaning up this area for uh, the weekend so we can go ahead and uh, take all that rust out and paint it. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down and we're gonna see if we get any water inside.
All right, let's see what we got. All right, after all that spraying, I'm gonna look in the spots. I don't see anything, and I think we're good. It's not a single bit of water, and that's what we want. I did it. Not a single bit of water to be found.